Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What David had failed to mention when inviting me to be his best man is that Frank um, is a professional speaker <laughs> in a religious way. David used to teach professional speaking, and then there's me. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Um, I'd, I'd like to apologise to David for about to blow the 15 years of friendship. Oh, thanks, Steve. <laughs> but uh, you may find it within you to uh, to forgive you. To forgive. Yeah, okay, right. We go. And off script, I would like to say that uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the uh, ceremony today. Uh, and Adrian, you did incredibly well. Yeah. I'm not a regular church girl, I'll, I'll happily admit that. But coming today um, did show me that I'm missing perhaps something uh, and something to be explored for the future. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. So, thank you. We really enjoyed Both of us enjoyed it. So, as you might have guessed, my name's Stephen Jolly and I've got the privilege of being David's best man. And um, I think privilege means that you stand up in front of strangers uh, and make a fool of yourself, probably, <laughs> which actually means that I've been privileged all my life without knowing. <laughs> so, and I do need these. So, first is my as best man. It is my duty to sing David's praises and talk about his many good qualities. However, unfortunately, <laughs> and I won't tell any lies, so this isn't going to take very long at all. <laughs> David and I have known each other about 15 years. You know David, or some of you know David very well, and you know his qualities. They're many, they're varied, and I'm about the polar opposite that you could get. So, little and large of friendships, really. Um, I am uh, proudly a direct salesperson and uh, have been most of my life with all that that brings and David is a refined gentleman <laughs> with impeccable batters. So how the hell we became <laughs> that God only knows. We first met when David uh, and his company uh, was recommended to me oh, yeah. to look after the advertising in, in our small company and we more or less instantly I think knew that, that we could work together and in fact it went from that to becoming really good friends. Mm. In a business environment I have no stories of falling over drunk good. or doing this or doing <laughs> that. It was a business environment. We always enjoyed each other's company both in the UK and when David used to come over to the States where subsequently I moved to. So he's always been an absolute treasure uh, and a a treasure is something you always treasure. So, so there we are. Thank you. Uh, so I mentioned we knew that we were going to be friends quite quickly, uh, and that's never been challenged. Very much like a good marriage. We've never had a cross no, or a no. force, oh. which is amazing when you look at some of the bills he used to print. <laughs> <laughs> and things I have to say worked out very well. Yeah. And, and I have been asked on behalf of all my children, to say thank you. Oh. <laughs> so oh, you're they're, welcome. Gonna, they're gonna be eternally great. Oh that's right. okay. <laughs> um, I think this is my duty, but it's been done. But I would like to thank the lovely bridesmaids, mm -hmm. Kezia and Mia, who not only look amazing, but did an excellent job of forcing Carolyn down the aisle. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, escorting <laughs> down the aisle. So you look really tremendous. Also, I'd like to thank Andrew and Stuart, another one of mine that you pinched. Well, sorry. So, <laughs> they did such a magnificent job yeah, they did. teaching people left and right. <laughs> 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 um, so, and now to the shining star of the day, Carolyn, our blushing bride, who is simply stunning. I have to say, yeah. you look so beautiful today. Yeah. Uh, absolutely wonderful. God, if only I was 10 years old. Alright, David, yes. you're a lucky man, I am. but you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well then, David, it's your turn now. Oh, thanks. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> I have to say, despite searching, I did very poor on digging up any 
really sleazy stories. Oh, so I apologize. Mm -hmm. But David was born on Thursday, 16th of December, 1988. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's 1948. Uh, which, as you all know in Chinese, is the year of the jockey. So, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> He shares his birth date with Christopher Begins. <laughs> <laughs> he should be so lucky. Which is a shame. <laughs> and I did actually Google and try desperately to find a link between your birth date yeah. and some notable event in history. Event in history. Uh, it was a slow news down. Wasn't that it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know because the nearest I got was uh, at Hitchin Maternity Hospital. Even today, yeah. it's known of as the uh, the David Day. No, no. <laughs> no, it's known as the Monkey Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but right. I'm not saying that's related in any way. It's all Just I a coincidence. It's yeah. all I could oh, find. Yeah, <laughs> David's very early nerdy ho hobby was train spotting. <laughs> so, and one day. Ollie informs me he was leaning over a bridge oh, yes. to get a better look oh, yes. when the train blew the whistle and a piece of coal shot up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Necessitating an urgent trip to hospital. Yes, <laughs> they, they removed the coal and suggested he took up stump collection. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I said we were polar opposites, and David, as you, those who you, who know him, know that he's always extremely well dressed, looks very trendy in his designer gear, mm -hmm. and this has always been the case. This isn't something new. In his younger years, I'm told that David could be found flouncing. All his word, not mine. <laughs> flouncing. You've got a lot to answer. <laughs> Round Kings Road, where he was part of the Kings Road set wearing long hair, yeah. which just like me, it's a bit difficult to believe. <laughs> long hair and wearing fur coat. Yeah, true, yeah. A very different look indeed. Yeah, but incredibly, I've actually managed to track down oh, the fur coat. No. Oh, oh, yes. yes. coat. The cool. very, very, it's a bit <laughs> mossy. <laughs> cool. He looks like an old beach jacket. Thank you very much. Anything's possible. I've missed you. Where have you been? <laughs> David is incredibly good at language. I'm still learning English. <laughs> but he's good at English, French, Spanish, and I'm told he even knows all the Latin name of Spanish <laughs> in the garden. What the hell you want to know that? <laughs> I don't know. However, knowing languages can be confusing. As David found out in a Spanish restaurant when he was ordering gato ah, yes. for his pudding. Luckily, in Spanish as you might know, gato is a cat. But luckily, there were none about. <laughs> so he eventually got what he wanted. Pato. Lucky. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> How did you know that? I just know these things. <laughs> <laughs> You're spies. I have. <laughs> right, for those of you who know David well, you'll find he's very particular, proper, and refined in every way. Well, during a recent holiday in Spain, there was a problem with the water supply. And some of you do know this, they've already told me. There was a problem with the water supply. And basically in Spain, in rural, more rural houses, you don't have running water, mains water. You have a massive tank in the bottom of, of the property. And there was some confusion, but it ran out of water. And this was very early into a two-week holiday. So for the rest of the two weeks, David and Carolyn were without running water. And I have to tell you, in our household, 
if you knew the perverse pleasure it gave us. <laughs> Actually, uh, we, we used to say, I wonder if they've been to the book yet. <laughs> every time the toilet was used, it meant that David had to shoot down to the swimming pool, get a bucket, and flush the loo. <laughs> and if there's anybody in this world that would have hated doing that, I give you that man. <laughs> so, Apologies for that, but That's okay. I thought you were going to be coy about whose swimming pool it was. <laughs> um, it's, it's hers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. uh, uh, and that's David. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, apparently, Carolyn, I have to mention you. Oh. I'm told you're the worst navigator in the world. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so, we're all very fortunate that Carolyn actually made it. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn and David met for the first time at Worcester Cathedral. And um, Caroline confided, I don't know if the person, Caroline, that's the first one, that's a tenant of the charity. <laughs> right. um, she confided in Jabba, got your name right? I'm pretty you have, name. Got your name right? That um, she'd seen a gorgeous man <laughs> wearing a black corduroy jacket with arm patches. Now, now there's a contradiction. Gorgeous man, corduroy. <laughs> <laughs> But she did. And sort of the rest is history. Yeah, true. But Caroline should have gone to spectate. Caroline. Caroline. Uh, to the charity. I never make this mistake. I'm still doing this. I just keep getting it wrong. Would you like to, Caroline? You're happy with Caroline? She answers to many things. <laughs> we won't go into that. <laughs> Caroline would have loved to have been a nurse. And unfortunately, that career was cut short by her absolute fear of blood. <laughs> just couldn't stand it. True story. Just couldn't stand blood. Following this, she joined a local authority where she enjoyed a long, very successful career until retiring just a few months ago. Now the irony is, of course, that today, in marrying David, her career has gone full circle. It's wonder. She's back to being a nurse. <laughs> so, Carolyn, we've met only a few times, but I already know that you're a wonderful woman, and you deserve a very wonderful husband. Yes. And I solemnly, solemnly swear that I won't rest until I know what, what's gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. Now ladies, if you'd like to get your tissues and, and that handy, I think you'll need them. Um, before I come to the next bit, and, and all joking apart, I would like to say what a pleasure it is to know you both now as friends. David, you've been a tremendous chum um, at all stages for 15 years. It's appreciated by Kate and myself, and Caroline, Carolette Cross, now I've got a new one. Uh, <laughs> Carolyn, you are lovely. It's, it's as simple as that. So um, you deserve each other. Well done. Thank you. Right, this is what they've got to say about each other. Oh. Inadvertently, oh. I coerce this. <laughs> Get those tissues ready. Carolyn, if I had to sum up David's best qualities, it would be his thoughtfulness and kindness. He constantly blows me away with the kind things he does. Not just for me, but for his family, friends, neighbours, and even people he doesn't know. He is a really lovely man. Aww. Aww. Lovely. <laughs> David. Carolyn is kind, thoughtful, considerate, and above all, willing to listen and talk. She is her own woman, and doesn't always agree with me. <laughs> what woman does? <laughs> but is always willing to talk about any differences we may have. Not that there have been many. 
Above all, she shows the quiet and gentle spirit that the Bible talks about as being a godly quality in a woman. She is a treasure and a blessing to me. She makes me laugh, especially with her girliness. <laughs> yes. And that was David. So what's the future hold? Well, personally, as you may know, um, both David and Caroline have recently retired. Caroline clearly well ahead of time. <laughs> a bit late. <laughs> so that, so that opens up a, a huge uh, amount of options to you both. Uh, on the horizon, perhaps a new house, a home for the two of you. And above all, a great big world full of exciting things to explore together. Absolutely. You'll have all the time in the world to enjoy each other's company. Well, we're not filling the bucket in the summer. I've got a vacancy for that. I'm not going to retire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to say, David, just how lucky you are. You'll be leaving here today with a wife who is warm, loving, and caring. And Carolyn, how lucky you are as well. Amen. You'll be leaving here with a lovely new dress. And <laughs> 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 some beautiful flowers. <laughs> 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 and thank you. Very good. Uh, <laughs>